Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear transgender, dear non-binary people, dear intersex people, dear gender fluid people, dear queer people, dear pan-gender, and dear everyone else. If you identify as an English-speaking person, thank you for listening to my Petra Kucha today. As you can see from this little intro, nowadays not offending someone when simply greeting them can be a challenge. So naturally, what do woke people do when they do get offended and are presented with an opinion that contradicts their worldview? They try to cancel it, whatever or whoever it is. And two famous examples for this are Dave Chappelle and J.K. Rowling. So what exactly have these two people done wrong to deserve the treatment they get from the LGBTQ community, their followers and all the people who are afraid of opposing them? For Dave Chappelle, one of the most successful American comedians, it is quite simple. He said on his show The Closer, Every human being on earth had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on earth. This is a fact. Apparently, we live in a world where such a simple biological truth can get you cancelled. And what about J.K. Rowling? This is the transphobic opinion that she supported. Maya Forstater, a global development researcher, stated in her tweet, I share the concerns of fair play women that radically expanding the legal definition of women so that it can include both males and females makes it a meaningless concept and will undermine women's rights and protection for vulnerable women and girls. These and similar tweets are the outrageous expressions of thoughts that, when supported, will also get you cancelled. And as far as force data is concerned, she was fired for her tweets. This is exactly what's at the core of my problem with this kind of trans activism. That you face legal or professional repercussions for disagreeing with a non-factual belief system. Since young people especially are influenced by the strand of non-conformity to your biological sex, teachers in particular often face consequences for simply not submitting to their students' efforts to force them to accept their new imaginary identity. So there are many instances where teachers have been sacked for this exact reason. The problem that we have here is that very often minority groups use their freedom of speech to express themselves while they simultaneously try to take away the constitutional protection of free speech from every other group that disagrees with them. This has happened many times before, but this time with the social justice warriors it's different. It's not about different opinions anymore and trying to raise awareness for their group. This time, it's about so much more. They say, does it really hurt you to use a person's preferred pronoun even if you don't agree with it? Let's hear what the famous Canadian professor for psychology, Jordan Peterson, has to say about this. Yeah, well, kindness is the excuse that social justice warriors use when they want to exercise control over what other people think and say. So, you know, if we're bandying back and forth uh, our, our differences in values, you know, um, I, I would say that the highest possible value is truth. Truth. Well, truth is that nowadays the terms sex and gender have been separated. Sex refers to your biological identity and gender to your social identity. And by the way, there are evolutionary reasons why the sexes act out these typical gender roles. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. My question is... What's wrong with just being an atypical man or woman? So, it has been established that when we communicate, we shall use the obvious characteristics of either sex to refer to that person as such, since 99.982% of the population have a clear affiliation with one of the two sexes, this is a very reasonable approach. Merely 0.018% of all people cannot easily be ascribed to one sex. But these are not the people you hear from. It is the people who perceive themselves differently from how everyone else perceives them. And this is fine. You can act out whatever picture you have of yourself, so long as you don't interfere with other people's lives. But remember this. For society to function, the world cannot and should not cater to every single person's worldview. There has to be a common ground in order to make efficient communication possible. And our common ground, since we moved away from creationism, has been science. And as far as science is concerned, biology, the scientific study of life, tells us what the two sexes are and in what ways they differ. And psychology, the scientific study of mind and behavior, tells us that not feeling in line with the sex you were born as is abnormal. 
Now, the term abnormal is often associated with negative connotations, but that's not what it means in a medical context. It simply tells us that being that way is not how most people are, and the behavior of most people is what sets the standard for communication. In other words, and the ability to communicate with most people in a way that they want to communicate back to you is what makes you a functional member of society. So, if there were no norms, every attempt at communication would become tedious and difficult. This is not efficient and therefore not a productive development. Now, I want to emphasize again, it is perfectly fine for anyone to express themselves however they want. As long as you don't bother anyone else with your perceived reality, feel free to live that way. And I guarantee you, almost nobody has a problem with that. The problem arises when these people try to force everyone else, who doesn't live in that abnormal sense of reality, to give up their fact-based worldview just to make them happy. They're not simply asking people to be kind. They're trying to establish consequences for communicational non-compliance with their deviating worldview. And this is an attack on one of our fundamental rights in any democratic society. Freedom of speech. You're threatening this constitutional right under the disguise of inclusion. But the people will not abide. The truth will prevail.